One of our youngest glass blowers was four. She made this beautiful pumpkin, and I asked her, you know, if she wanted to be a glass blower when she grew up. She was like, nah. <laughs> it didn't impress her that much. So. She was like one of the best ones since, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Been there, done that. <laughs> Hey, thanks for coming back. You're just in time for the finale of my interview with Tina Haldeman of Larchmere Fireworks. All right, my name is Casey Strong, glass blowing instructor at Larchmere Fireworks. Hello, I'm Cassidy Anderson, blacksmith and instructor at Larchmere Fireworks. Hello, I'm Tina Haldeman. I am one of the glass blowers at the Larchmere Fireworks. What all is involved in the in the classes that are offered, though? A glass blowing class would entail using molten glass on the end of a rod to create either a solid sculpted piece or a blown hollow piece. Um, the instructor is with you the whole time but we put the rod in your hands. We want you to do the work and to feel the heat coming off of that glass. You're servicing people and you, you want them to feel like they're comfortable, they're happy, they're getting something out of it and they're not a burden to you and so many businesses sometimes you can feel that way as a customer but we don't ever want our students to feel that way we always want them to know that they come first and that we want them to have fun and absolutely the safest way possible but as much hands-on experience as possible it would be fair to say customer service is a big part of the of, of this business as well absolutely yeah. we we hired a full-time teacher this past year so that i could devote more time to the scheduling and the back of the scenes uh, stuff that I just don't want to fall behind. You know, I never want a, a phone call to go unanswered or a message to go, you know, left unanswered. Once they've been through a course, what do you want them to, to kind of walk away with from the standpoint of the, the feeling that they, that they take leaving? I want a student to walk away so happy with their experience that they want to tell us about it. Whether they text me or they put an online review, I want them to be so excited that they're like, look what I just did. <laughs> and we see that. We see their Facebook posts where they post the pictures of what they just, you know, in the, of their class and they, right. they look so excited about it. And that, that says a lot to us when we see that right after, like they can't even wait. If you're getting to do that, you're doing something right. That is like the new gold standard now. Yeah. Somebody yeah. <laughs> posts a picture of something they've done and it represents your business. You are, you're doing something right, I think. Using their creativity. Because that's one, one area in almost everybody's life. Unless you work in a creative job, you just don't get the time. Just working with your hands and making something, that's creating something. And that is... That's a good feeling when you when you get to the end of that and you have that piece that you made. There's a lot of pride that comes with that. My favorite story <laughs> is I, our youngest glass one of our youngest glass blowers was four. Okay. She made a pumpkin, and the teacher was helping her uh, with the weight of the rod. But the teacher said this little girl was turning the rod, which we can't get some adults to do. Mm -hmm. And this little girl was turning the rod, and she made this beautiful pumpkin. And when she came to pick it up. I, I asked her if I could take a photo of her with it, and I asked her, you know, if she wanted to be a glass blower when she grew up. She was like, nah. <laughs> Didn't impress her that much. So <laughs> she was like one of the best ones. Just like, eh, yeah, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> been there, done that. <laughs> if you like this, please make sure to like and subscribe, and please don't forget to share with at least six people.